I think that these young women, if we really care about them as people, that they'll have role models that look like them because they're going to play for years for whomever and then they get the opportunity to go in this world and they're not going to find anybody that look like them and they're going to have to figure out how to navigate at a different level. I hope that they get encouraged and understand the fight isn't easy. It's necessary. Oh, I was going to play forever. There was no way I was going to do this coaching thing. I think it's crazy. I thought my coaches were crazy. And then something strange happened my senior year, the year I was going to be an All-American. I went to catch a ball over my head and I blew my knee out. And I had to watch the game from the bench. But when I watched it that year, I knew that was something I was supposed to at least try to do. And then when I graduated that following year, I had an opportunity to go overseas. But I said, I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I became a high school coach for a couple years and then I just jumped right into the fire. I was an assistant coach for 13 years and I was okay being an assistant coach, but I knew after my dad passed that I wanted to have my son uh, experience my mother. And the only two jobs were open was Hofstra and Albany. Hofstra calls first. We're gonna make Hofstra a final four team. That was my mindset. And after four years, we were on our way building that. And that's when Indiana called me. And I knew that I needed to go to Indiana for a lot of reasons. One was they didn't have a coach for two years in a row. They got two different coaches. And I went there to, to, to win basketball games. But I knew Indiana wasn't the most diverse place. And I thought, my little crazy self, that I was going to be the one that changed the way people saw people. That was my whole motivation. Uh, but there are certain things um, outside of it. You, you just, my son hadn't seen an African American kid in, in, in weeks. And, you know, if he doesn't come to the gym and see the men's basketball team in the neighborhood I lived in, uh, there was there was never a person that looked like him. And I was, um, you know, after a while you get concerned. Like I was okay at work. Coming home, I had my husband and son. My son needed to have that diversity, which people that kind of didn't look like him. And uh, that was a real struggle because my first three years, we were amazing at Indiana. Those kids gravitated to me. I expressed myself to them. I had a, a top 20 recruiting class at Indiana. I got fired. But in retrospect, I was, I needed to leave there. And sometimes God steps in and, and I'm a very faithful follower. And when you think that you're supposed to be somewhere, he steps in and takes you to where you need to be. And so I thought I was ready to be out of this, the, the game because that was so shocking. And I don't interview for a couple of jobs and before I left those jobs, I was already denied the opportunity. And a young lady named uh, Anuka Brown, she saw my last year with Indiana. And so when I was out of the job for three months, she called me and said, you know, we got this opening. The people that we're interviewing don't seem like a fit. It doesn't, I don't think you're gonna get the job, but I think you should start interviewing so you can be ready when your time comes again. It was a simple thing like that. Somebody saw me, believed in me enough, gave my name to a guy that was hiring, and I was able to get in front of him. And by being in front of him, I got an opportunity. It's that simple. I just really want people that struggle, who lost opportunities, to know that there's people out there fighting with them and for them. If you can be you and be totally comfortable and be your authentic self and be willing to, to lose your job, keep your job, but never change who you are, that's all you can do. I, I, I want to win. Not just call, you're number one, we're Buffalo. Yeah, we're Buffalo, we win. But that's your moment to capture the audience and tell your story. Who are you? You're from Australia, you're from Rochester, you're from a single parent, you're from a mother that raised five kids. You matter, your story matters. But nobody cares until you make them care. You make a choice every day when you know you're the best person for the job and you say, I'm not gonna say anything until somebody asks me. You made a choice to be second. 
be right, be wrong. Raise your hand and speak.